Hello everyone, and this time I'm going to be translating and reading through the second chapter of Digimon Dreamers, which was published in the latest Psycho Jump. So that's the December 2021 copy that came out early November 2021. So I've actually left in a little bookmark for myself, and unlike last month's issue, there's not any Digimon-related freebies, so we can just give that a bit of a miss. So, we have here Pulsemon, of course, and Digimon Dreamers, and it continues on from Chapter 1, and we have the Tamer of Pulsemon, which is Ritsu Kodo, and he's beginning his journey to basically help them evolve. But he's kind of hanging out here, and he's talking about how relaxingly healing this area is. He's hanging out with a bunch of baby Digimon, and he basically, Pulsemon's not super happy by, by this. He shouldn't just be hanging out at a cafe, and this isn't what he has been brought here to do, just to hang out and relax the cafe. And then we have Pulsemon here saying that he that he is the t the Ritsu is the tamer of him and he is the Digimon and he will become the strongest and we have basically the evolution that he will go through to be Psycure, which yep, that that is also the name of the magazine that this runs in, by the way. So he is he will be the strongest. You also might remember that Psycure is what Gammon in Ghost Game was calling chocolate. So that's kind of like a little funny thing there. So the s official subtitles for the English translation said champion, but he's actually saying Psycho, which means the strongest. And it's kind of said a lot in Digimon Dreamers to become the strongest. So he's going to evolve to become the biggest, strongest Digimon. And... Ritsu is kind of a little bit like not understanding and not believing that this is possible. And Pulsemon says that to become the strongest, they have to go to a volcano. And Ritsu is like, a volcano? And why do we have to go there? And he's like, you know, why do you think? And then we have Ritsu saying that he actually likes staying at home and he kind of hates the outdoors. And Pulsemon's like, what, you're like a, kind of like a hermit? <laughs> you're like staying at home? And then Ritsu suggests that he kind of just stays home and gives advice from his monitor, like, Pul we can ha see Patamon holding up the tripod with the phone here, and he says, look, how about we just communicate this way? I'll stay home, and I'll give you the advice through my the screen of my monitor. And he's like, what? You, you seriously want to do this remote? And that's what Pulsemon says. And Pulsemon's obviously kind of annoyed by this. He's just like, you, you think this is just a game? This isn't just a game, it's completely different. And then he kind of like a little bit says, look, you're going to have to help me here. And then kidnaps him and takes him to the volcano to train. So Pulsemon starts training and... Yeah, Ritsu just kind of wanted to give him the advice, and they said, "This isn't. Well, this wouldn't be what I would advise to you." And Pulsemon says, "I just want to evolve." And then he's like, "Look, this will strengthen our bond." And similar to what he says over here, he's like, "Look, we, we've got to strengthen our bond, and we'll do this together to strengthen our bond." And then at the end, we have Pulsemon saying that he's hungry, and Ritsu saying that he just kind of wants to relax and take it easy. And then Postman says, oh, some, something smells good. And then it's Vegemon. And then it turns out that Vegemon's actually a not nice Digimon. And also Postman kind of wants to fight battles because he says that will be how he evolves. And Vegemon kind of doubts his ability to grow. And then Postman says that he's going to be the strongest. And then Ritsu notices something. So Vegemon and Pulsemon are going to fight. And they're kind of like, let's go! And then Ritsu pushes Pulsemon out of the way. 
And Pulsemon is obviously saying, what was that for? And then a big rock from the volcano falls down and hits Vegemon and sets him on fire. And then Pulsemon's like, ah, yes, good, I won. And then he's kind of claiming victory and he says, this means that I'm one step closer to being the strongest. And Patamon kind of like, ah... I guess that's kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, okay. And then we have Ritsu just kind of wanting to relax. He's just like, okay, let's return home to the village so that I can continue healing. Like, he wants to go back to that little cafe. So that was just a quick sort of flip through of the translation for Chapter 2. Sort of in the same way that I did chapter one. Let me know if you want me to go into more detail next time or that was enough. Let me know what you thought about this chapter. I thought that it gave us a different kind of view about Ritsu's personality. In the first one, he seemed kind of fine, I guess. We didn't really dive into his personality. But this chapter almost made it seem like he was a little bit lazy. Like, he didn't, he already said in the first chapter that he would help them evolve, and he was already on board with that. And this chapter has him kind of saying that he doesn't want to do it at all, can't he just do it remotely, can't he just do it by giving his advice through the monitor of his computer, and he isn't really on board with it altogether. So I guess it's more fleshing out Ritsu's character, and I don't know why, but I'm getting, like, the voice that I'm reading Pulsemon's lines as kind of almost fits, like, I guess, Shoutmon's voice in Cross Wars, or I guess even maybe an angrier version of Gammon in Ghost Game. But in any case, so far, it's a super cute little manga, and I'm really enjoying it. Let me know what you thought about the second chapter in the comments, and of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, that old chestnut. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.